Hi, my name is Tom Johnson from I'dRatherBeWriting.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a child theme and why you would want to create a child theme. <clears throat> One of the most common requests is to customize some theme. So um, let's say you have a, a commercial theme you bought or even the 2012 theme. You want to you want to make changes and customize it, but then the theme gets updated. And once it gets updated, you want to take advantage of those updates. But if you've already customized your child, if you've already customized your theme, then you're gonna the update will overwrite all your customizations. So the child theme gets around that, and it's super simple and it's really easy to make. So first thing, Google uh, WordPress child themes and copy this little chunk of text right here, and then you're gonna come up and paste it in. I've already got it uh, pasted in to uh, a blank text document for the site I'm creating. And uh, you can basically leave everything the same except for change where it says template, change to the name of the theme folder that you're gonna make a child theme of. So in this case, I'm working with Canvas. And uh, in my themes, in my themes folder, I've got a Canvas theme here, and that's gonna be the parent theme. So this, this child theme just needs to reference that that uh, parent template and then add an import at import space URL dot dot slash canvas style so this is gonna pull in the style sheet from the parent template and then we're gonna add all these custom styles right below it now uh, all I have to do now is take and upload this so I've got it right here and I'm gonna create a canvas child folder and remember, if, if you're customizing 2012 as a child theme, you would create a 2012-child folder. But here we've got canvas-child. I'm going to upload this little style sheet that I, that I just made, that I just showed you right here, and just a screenshot. Um, now, when I go into uh, my parent theme, right, and choose, oh, well, if I just go into my website, and go to the themes, I'm going to see the available child theme. So this is the child theme of the canvas theme. So here's canvas, this is the parent, this is a child, I'm just going to activate it. Now, <clears throat> it will look exactly the same. Um, nothing has changed, I've already kind of worked on this a little bit. But uh, this is a construction site template I'm doing. But here's the neat thing about child themes. Not only will, will all your styles here overwrite any other styles, but also you can upload any other theme files here. So let's say you want to customize, let's say you want to customize uh, the, the, I don't know, content, presentation, uh, archive, whatever. Whatever files from the parent theme you customize, you just stick them right here in canvas-child and these child files will overwrite the parent files. Same with functions, only functions works works a little bit differently. So functions, this file contains a lot of like uh, programmatic things. You don't, it's, if you create a functions file, it doesn't overwrite the entire functions file. It will just add on to the parent functions file at the bottom. So super easy. Now, uh, let's say you make a bunch of updates Right, and, and you've made all these changes. It's all contained in this child file. If you make a mistake, you can delete one of these child files. It will revert to the parent. Uh, when the parent theme is updated, you just upload the theme, the updated theme files into the parent folder, and your child, your child theme will continue to overwrite whatever parent files correspond. So, again, my name uh, is Tom Johnson, and I'd, I'd rather be writing .com is my site. I do WordPress consulting. So if you need help creating a theme, a WordPress theme for your website, I'd be happy to do so. Just give me an email at tom at I'dRatherBeWriting.com. Thanks.